Hello everybody, Just Nikki here, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this loading screen music is so loud, but anyways, <laughs> I'll just talk with half my headset off. Hello everybody, <laughs> Just Nikki here, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be playing for you a game called Scrutinized. This is by the guy who made Welcome to the Game, Welcome to the Game 2, Rides with Strangers, which, when is that dropping, sir? Like, can we get on that? But anyways... I wanted to play this game because it looks really fun. I already played some of it and I got jump scared to hell. So we're just going to be continuing on a new game. I'm sorry, guys. I had to skip that first part because it was too long and I just want to get into it. You know what I'm saying? Computer and get the night started. All right. So don't make fun of my game. I know it looks like ass. But or, um, oh, wait, wait, wait. That's just because of my computer. You guys know what's going on. So I read the little the little description thingy, and I, there's a lot. Not as much as like Welcome to the Game or Welcome to the Game Two, but it's it's pretty descriptive. So I need to walk around and close all of these windows. Which I mean, do you not care about bugs getting in your house or something? Because I don't do that. I don't leave my my windows open. Unless I got a screen on that bitch, but these these don't look like they have screens on them. I just don't like bugs. Oh, wow. Wait, is this us? Damn, we looking like a Rachel Ray out here. See that? Anyways. Yeah, I'm gonna leave these, these closets and stuff open. Because I think that's a good thing. I think that's what you're supposed to do. And lucky lucky. And lock. And I think there's some in the kitchen too. God, what is this bitch walking on? Like, fucking. She has clogs on? Hear how loud her steps are? Jesus. Okay, is that it? I think that's all the windows. I think. Now we can. Now we can get into this. Alright. Oh, yeah. I need to read that email and check out those bolos. Email. Hey, lights throughout the house randomly turning off without touching any of the switches. Also, if I leave my security camera light on too long, the breaker trips. I'd like a quote and your soon as possible opening to get this mess sorted out. Hi, Luna. I'm super busy for the next few weeks. In the meantime, I suggest flicking the light switches on and off a few times to get them to turn on. There's probably a short slash loose wiring that has been causing the lights to turn off. For the camera light, limit your usage to short bursts to avoid flipping the breaker. Oh my god, just get someone else to help you with this. A few weeks. We don't have a few weeks. Alright, um, okay, so these are the two killers I guess we have to look out for, which is cool that it's only two. But let's read this guy's first. Last night, I thought I heard something outside my house, so I promptly checked my security cameras to see what it was and saw a strange man creeping around. Unsure what this person was doing, snooping around outside, I shined my camera light on, on them to get a better look at who it was. After clearly being caught, he ran off, but after checking the footage a couple times, his face seemed so familiar. Hmm. It dawned on me after the fact that he matched the description of the man's police force after for a murder. Okay. It's our duty as members of the Watch to keep the community safe and aware of what's going on. I recommend everyone shares this message to monitor your cameras. And if available, use your camera light to detect any suspicious person uh, on your property. Okay. So that's that guy. What about this motherfucker? Uh, as of today, we've notified the agency about a potential suspect we believe is involved in a sex trafficking ring. Our suspicions come from the disappearance of a number of female victims and an eyewitness accounts of one woman who was able to escape. We know that the man operates alone and at night specifically. He is around six foot tall, bald, white, medium build, and has a forearm tattoo. We'd like to stress this message specifically to the women as you could be in fact his next target. Based on the track records, it seems as if he is looking 
to kidnap women exclusively. It's also come to my attention that the builder who developed many of the houses in this area cut some corners. Many of the reports point to a compromised window locking mechanism? What? As the culprit behind the unwanted entries? What you mean? That bitch slide to the left is unlocked, that bitch slide to the right is locked. How can you fuck that up? Okay, well, security is key. Leave your lights on and ensure your windows are, windows are locked. Okay, well, we did that. Let's check the cameras real quick, because that took me a while to read. Okay, how do I... How do I get... Oh, that's pausing. How do I get out of the... Oh, I did it. Okay, report desk. Wow, this is... This is a lot. What is... Let me... Oh, I just drag it. Okay. Hang on. Whew! Hang on, let me... Just give me a second. Uh... Okay. Okay, I'm just looking. I'm just looking, because I'm scared. It's so quiet. Okay, so, um... That hitchhiker that went missing last week... Yeah, I saw him hop into a car a few nights ago. A pretty recognizable car. It had one of those family set stickers on the back window. Swear there were like six or seven kids and two parents. Legit insane. And a ton of live, laugh, love. Ugh. Sign. <laughs> live, laugh, love. Kind of kind of bumper sticker on it. Very soccer mom-esque. If you catch my drift. I saw the lady pull up next to the guy on my way down exit ramp off the expressway, but it was kind of hard to see since it was dark out. I'd recognize that neon yellow backpack anywhere, though. The hitchhiker was getting into the back as I was driving along, and I managed to catch a glimpse of the lady. Brown curly hair. On the heavier side, middle age, she was, she was, she was grinding like, oh, she was grinning like a cat, sorry. Freaky. I peeled off before she could turn around to see me, but I can't stop thinking about that damn pack pack. Soon as I saw the news, I came right here. Okay, let me check the cameras again. Okay. So, what do I, okay, so I, so I pull this up, and then, so they're, they're saying ages 45, to 55 see this isn't really giving me a lot of info because they don't have a name but they have a height though okay, so five six and then 195 pounds which we'll just say 200 and then she's female of course and brown hair brown eyes okay let me just Wow, okay, so there's a lot of women that come up. Hang on, let me look at all these. So she, this has brown curly hair. She does not have brown curly hair. She does not have brown curly hair. That's kind of brown and curly. Or is that, what, it, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Um, 48, 47. Um, he said she was heavier set and this girl looks skinny. So I'm gonna assume it's her. So let me um, bring up the sim thing and put her name in. Her name is, oh, I gotta click it first. Ola. Okay. So let me just copy that and then Ugh, put it in. Damn what? It. Internet went out again. I need to go reset the router in the back room closet. Why does this happen? Why? What? The back room closet? Why is it in your closet? Bitch! I'm just. Hang on. Woo! Why is, why is this off? Why is this off? Turn, turn it on. Bitch. Okay. I don't like that the doors close by themselves. 
Okay. Fucking reset it. Oh god. I'm locked in place. Are we good? Are we good? Don't don't scare me. I'm I'm like kinda sweating a little bit. I got the flashlight on you, motherfucker. Okay. Let's let's check the cameras real quick. Nothing. Okay. All right, right. So what we're we gonna do? We're gonna paste this into here, and we're gonna check her phone. Okay. Okay, that's easy. Crack. Did did my game just freeze? The fuck? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Search history. Illness illness children. Okay, pneumonia symptoms, flu and cold, mad cow disease, gas station near me, wash car wash near me, birthday gift for a ten year old, home remedy for cleaning deep stains out of a car seat. If that ain't evidence, I don't know what the fuck is. Good ways to manage grief? What? What? Oh, is that him? Oh no. They said neon yellow backpack, right? Hang on, hang on. Alright, fuck you. Alright, um. Yeah, they said. Can't get that damn backpack. No, 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 no. Uh, what did, what did he say? Didn't they say like it was a neon yellow backpack? So I'm trying to figure out if this is the guy, but I don't, I don't know how she would have gotten that picture. Okay. Hi, Ellie. Uh, it's Lola. Does your husband still work at the butchers? Hi, Lola. It's nice to hear from you. Yes, he does. How are your kids? Much better, thank you. Losing Marcus was hard. We're pulling through. Could you pass me the number, please? Uh oh. I hear stuff in the background, and I don't like it. Okay. Wait. What? Where the? <gasps> Did I close it? I closed it, guys. I don't think this is a case. Because. Oh God. I don't think this is anything. And I was right! Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm scared. Let me, I'm just gonna double check the rooms to see if the lights are on. Cause they say, keep the lights on! That's what I intend to do. Oh my fuck! Why is this off? Fuck you. Okay. Alright, bet. Let's go. I think we're doing alright, y'all. Let me um, check the cameras again. Okay, I'm just making sure. Alright, so... What is this? Okay, so my husband went to the movies recently. The beginning of the film was great, but about halfway through, a woman sitting behind us started making strange sounds and breathing heavily. Oh, what were y'all watching? Was y'all watching 365 Days? <laughs> it ruined the rest of our experience because the theater was full, and my husband didn't want to move to the empty seats at the front of the theater. Uh, I had her hot, panting breath on the back of my neck for nearly an hour. The fuck? By the end of the movie, she was practically growling. She tried to talk to us afterwards by speaking in a raspy voice and making a horrific face. But I just wanted to get the hell out of there. It was like she was possessed or something. Okay, wait a minute. Let me check the cameras again. Wait, the fuck? I hear a car. Alright, alright, alright. 
So she's female. She has brown hair, blue eyes. They think she's between 30 and 40. Her height is 5'6", and her weight is 125. Okay, let's search that up and see what we got. We've got two people here. Um, let me just get this the fuck out of my way. So, let me- hang on. What's that mean? Does that mean he's in the house? What's that mean? What's that mean? Am I fucked? Hey man! Okay, I'll keep an eye on that. I'll keep an eye on that. Let's look up. Okay, so social spies where you can check to see if they have any social media. So let's look up Julia first. Julia Wosby. Nothing found. Okay, what about what about Jennifer Connolly? That sounds like oh my god, what the fuck did I just hang on? I have acrylics on right now, guys. So my nails were pressing other things. <laughs> yeah, Jennifer Connolly. There we go. Nothing. Huh? I don't like this. I don't like it. I need to check the cameras again. Um, oh, she has an alias, though. This Jennifer person has an alias, so let's look up Blood Angel123. Oh, she, she has one, but she hasn't made any posts. The fuck? Okay, hang on. Fuck off. Okay. So the fuck am I supposed to do this? Maybe I could, um... Let me check Julia's... Uh... Julia's phone. Maybe that'll give me a little more insight. And also, let me check the cameras. There's like... I bet he's just standing there looking at me right now, waiting for me to get up. What was that? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, fuck. The fucking internet just went out again. Okay, hang on, let me go let me go check the check the rooms, make sure the lights are on. Okay. Okay. Let me just reset this router. Come on. This is the most intense silence you will ever sit through. Please, please, please. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Closet door is still open. Lights are on. We're good. Let me let me just check the cameras again real quick. Oh! Fuck off! Fuck off! Oh, bitch. Okay, hang on, hang on. How to freak out pe how to freak people out in a movie theater? Excuse me? Fun movie pranks. What the fuck? Why would you do this? Why would look at this. Look what the fuck is that? Okay. Tina. Hey, I wanted to do some stupid shit. Oh. 
Let me let me reread that for a second. Hey, you want to do some stupid shit with me soon? Uh, we may or may not get into some trouble. Yeah, the, ugh, this is nothing. I fucking wasted my time with this. So, yeah, it was just a prank. Get the fuck over it. Mm. I want to back out of the... All right, look, I'm just double checking. You gotta double check. I'm taking too long, by the way. Caleb Butler. I am Caleb's ex-girlfriend from years ago. I'm writing this report because he would not stop stalking me. I was near where he lived and he's always on the streets following, taking pictures on his phone. Please get the little creep off my back. I've tried multiple times to call him, or I'm sorry, to tell him to back off. Um, but he ignores me every time. I think he can get arrested and put in jail if he does this again. Uh, alright, yeah. Let's check on this creep. I really shouldn't be judging them like this because... A lot of these people just need to mind their own fucking business. Like, half of these cases have been nothing, really. Let me see. Um... Brown hair, brown eyes. Yeah, did I did I fill this in right? No, 150. Let me check the cameras again real quick. Not saying that stalking needs to be you need to mind your business when someone when you feel like somebody's stalking you, but I'm just saying maybe maybe you guys just live in the same area and he just happens to be around. You know what I'm saying? Caleb Butler. Here we go. All right, let's. Uh, let me just hack into your phone real quick. But before I do that... Okay. Um, name. Caleb Butler. Let's see what you got. Can't find an IMD device with this name. Really? You don't have a phone? Well, I assume he doesn't have social media either then, but let's check that anyway. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, what about... Hang on. Okay, what about police records? Maybe? Maybe he's done something like this before. Caleb Butler. Ca oh, okay, hang on. Caleb Butler f filed a harassment restraining order against his ex-girlfriend. Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. His ex-girlfriend is banned from being within a hundred yards of Caleb in order to have zero contact with him. Any violation of this order will be... Bruh, this bitch is crazy. She really had me thinking this man's was... Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And she's the one who's cuckoo for his Cocoa Puffs. So this is also nothing. Also, I need to check the room real quick. <gasps> oh, fuck! You have been kidnapped. How the fuck? Damn! Guys. Uh, I tried. Let's let's try one more time, guys. One more time, okay? I at least I should get to my computer and get the night started. Oh shut up. I I, I really want to get to night two. <laughs> I didn't mean to disrespect her like that, but bitch shut up um yeah like i'm not gonna get took out here in this in these streets part two i'm gonna make it tonight too at least all right so i walked in on miss mcginty yes okay miss mcginty after school along alone with one of her students oh she was on the floor and her student was standing above her. When Miss Gindley stood up, she saw me in the doorway. I didn't get a chance to say anything before Miss Gindley pleaded, it's not what it looks like. 
She always said it was a dream come true that she reached her life goal to become a teacher. So part of me believes that I walked in on a perfect time to validate one of the worst conclusions. I'm not going to go ahead and, oh, what? Huh? I'm not going, I'm not going to go ahead and forward this to the school board without finding out more information of what happened. Okay, well, let's go ahead and find Miss McGinley. Um, how do you not, how do you not know how old she is? Like, I can understand height and weight maybe, but like, you don't know how old she is? Can't even give me a guesstimate? Oh, Mary McGinley. Okay. Okay, she's 29. She's 4'10". That bitch is short. Okay, hang on. Let me, um, let me check her phone. But first, let me check my cameras. All right, um, right, Mary McGinley. Yeah, control C, put that into the root, control V, connect. Bet, okay, search history. Low blood sugar spikes, symptoms of low blood sugar. Okay, well, <laughs> I, I think it was what it wasn't, it, what it, it, it was of what it wasn't. It's not what it looked like. Ms. Gimli Thomas, in the first period, hello Thomas, how'd you get my number? Just gave it to me, told her I was worried about you today. Uh, thank you for the concern, had to ask me to text my personal number. I will be fine. I didn't mean to do anything rude. I didn't want to wait until tomorrow. Da, 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 da. When I fell in class, I think I... I know what's wrong. My aunt uh, has something diabetic. Yeah, okay. So it, it's not what we think. It's not what we think. She's she's not a predator. She's 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 passed out. Okay, I'm gonna check real quick the rooms. I'm gonna check the rooms. Make sure the lights are on. This light happens to be off a lot in that room, but I think, I think we're okay. Closets are still open, so that's good. All right. Let me just double check the cameras real quick. All right, next report. All right, I woke up late last night uh, from a bad dream. I decided to get some fresh air in the backyard. I was outside for about 20 minutes before I heard a noise I had heard before, but two weeks before this and three weeks before that. The fuck did I just read? Did I read that right? I had heard before about two weeks before this and three weeks before that. I know it sounds... I know. Oh, I knew I heard something. Oh, bitch. Okay, hang on. Turn it on. Uh, okay. I knew I heard something. I think we're okay. All right. Let me check the cameras, too. All right, so where was I? Da, 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 da. I know it was the sound of digging and it was coming from the direction of my neighbor's yard. He has a privacy fence, so I couldn't see much. I didn't get to speak to the man much because he works late, because he works night shifts. I know he does some gardening, but I just didn't, but I just don't see him ever doing any during the day. See, this is another case of mind your fucking business, but... Ugh, damn it. The internet went out again. Fuck. I need to go reset the router in the back room closet. Bet. All right. Let me check the rooms, too, while I'm at it. 
I don't even think the light in the bathroom goes out, but it's worth a check. All right, we're good. Come on. Why do you have it back here? Is this was this like the best connection in the house to put it here? Cuz I don't see any other reason to put it not by your computer, like you know what I mean? But whatever. Oh no. No. <laughs> Don't kill me! I don't want to die yet! I was doing good! Uh, can he charge me in the hallway? I don't want to go. He's in the closet! <laughs> okay. Let's just get it over with. Oh! Oh wait, he kind of cute though. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> you became a statistic, bruh. All right, guys. Well, I think that's enough for today. <laughs> Maybe in the next episode, uh, I'll try and get to night two. Maybe night three. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a like. If you are new to the channel and you happen to stumble across it, go ahead and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>